Hello everyone, welcome back to MediCraft. Back in the world, back once again. Uh, let's see, what it is time. Let's look and I'll show you what I did. So I took what I thought out of here that I needed. You know, I probably should take that obsidian. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I went ahead and used some of the mithril. If that's what it's called, mithril. Yeah, mithril. I had four ingots, and I made so I made two mithril swords. I know they look like diamond, but they're not. They're mithril swords. So I've got them dual wield. Um, got them ready to go. Took out <clears throat> what I thought I may need in here. Took out all my food and put it in this backpack here. That's what you're seeing here. So I've got a lot of food. I went ahead and harvested all the crops up that I could because I think it's time to move, like to go and to. To go into Stagon, <laughs> you know, to kind of leave this area and not that I really needed to take this stuff with me, but not, I mean, not to Stagon, but I mean, to, to move and set up. I did, I did see, um, I did see something off in the distance, another village in an area that I hadn't been yet. <clears throat> it's kind of off over that way. If you look, remember this little island right here is our spawn. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see, you know, our first adventure took us this way. And the last, you know, couple of four videos or so where we were basically, uh, you know, it was the same story that we were talking about for multiple videos. And we went out this way and did this trip. But if you look up over here, right here, there's a village. So I like to go over, I'm going to go over here. And then we're going to head out, you know, and we're going to look for a place to kind of set up. Whether we whether we set up the permanent, not, okay, whether we set up like, it's never permanent. Or it could be if we find the town. But we're going to try to see if we can f set up something maybe, you know, where we build instead of just uh, living in, in a village. And then we could do some more adventuring, so... I guess a lot of you guys liked the last uh, the last episode of the last few videos was like the culmination of the story that I was telling, and a lot of you, a lot of you guys who really like the you know real talk of Meaty Craft enjoyed that, and, and that's cool. I'm glad you did. That's the way it is. Like that that video. Whoa, that video. I went. You know, I played straight through. I think. I think I was playing for like an hour and something, and that's just. That's just what came about from it. So sometimes I, I just keep bumping my gums the whole time. It's usually easier if I'm actually <laughs> building something instead of venturing around. Now, are these guys going to be... Let's see. Oh, I don't want to go out into that darkness. I want to go that way. I'm going to go this way. All right. These guys gonna be bad here. They're gonna be okay. I think they're gonna be okay. Yeah, I know, big fellas. You guys are okay, Makos. Uh, could there be more of you though? I mean, this could be a really scary area. No try and don't try and bite meaty. No biting meaty. <laughs> so anyway, I I'm I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that last few episodes, that was, um, what the deuce? Creeper pod. Well, that sounded like it was going to explode. Wait, wait, we saw one of these before. Oh, that's one of those Farlanders houses. I don't want to, I don't want to fight that right now. That's a bear. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy things. That is a bear, right? Black bear, yeah. He could be mean. We don't look at all these. Uh, you think there's a little too many of them? My goodness. My goodness. All right. <clears throat> but I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. And you know, it's it's. I like you know telling you guys the stories about you know because a lot of times you just you don't know like the background. There may be people that you watch on YouTube and may have watched for a long time and you have no idea about like the background of stuff and I think it's interesting. I think uh hearing the background of stuff is really interesting. That's quicksand. Whoa. Alright, somebody's gr whoa. Okay. 
This, the hunger thing is really crazy. I mean, it, I just, I'm eating s cooked steaks and I'm just, I'm just immediately starting to starve again. <clears throat> Here's this village right over here. Wanted to check it out, see what we had going in there. So things have been going really good lately, you guys. Not, not only here on me MediaCraft, but especially on You Always Win. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. We're having a ton of fun doing this stuff. I mean, if if you don't have fun doing this stuff, how could you do it? How could you dedicate so much time into uh, into doing it? But uh, things are really, really looking good. I'm gl everything's working hard on a lot of different stuff. You know, between animations and uh, and our regular playthroughs and stuff. It's it's a lot of fun. So this village, it's okay. Let's see if there's anything in particular that I want from here. Mm, that doesn't look like it. People everywhere. People are strange when you're a stranger. Let's see what's going on in here. Diamond horse armor. An iron pick. Iron boots. I'll take those. Nothing too crazy. It's like you just you just leave your thing on. on you leave your food in your hand because you're going to be eating the whole time. Think about maybe taking some of their books, though. Don't mind if I do. Twenty-one books. So not every not every meaty craft guys will be you know some epic story. It's because they're. They're not like pre-thought up. Those are just like thoughts while we're while we're going and playing. You know, it's. I think it's much much better that way. Let's look and see. There's something big over there. Um. I actually have a, a fair amount of food in my backpack, so I don't really need to grab any of the food from here. I would love to to find something cool place to build penguins what is that building I see over here something some kind of some kind of building it's probably one of those worn out farmhouse buildings though Let's see that's what it looks like that's what it looks like it always look good from uh, from the mini map but um, not necessarily anything spectacular so, how's everybody enjoying their summer? Is it like already? It's August, so is it almost time for like summer to end for people? All right, it's it's daytime. Are they gonna attack? Yep. Oh, and they're poisonous. Nice. Oh, sorry, penguin. All right. They're, oh wow. They're really. Is the penguin attacking me now? Yeah, he's pissed. There's a chest in there. What, dude? Seriously, do I have to finish you off? Apparently so. <laughs> Death by penguin. That wouldn't be good. That would not be good. All right. There's a chest in there I'd like to get, but there's two spawners. It's daylight out too. Hmm. All right, well, I'll try and run in here real quick. Hoop. All right. What do we got here? Stencil, bucket. I've already got a bucket. Audio file, barracue, Cinemix. I guess those are like um, musical things or something? I don't know. All right. Another village here. Got to get out of the snow biome. I don't want to go too far this way because I've already been over there. So we could see what... Um, it's over this way. We'll see a little bit. A lot of villages, which are cool, but right... Whoa, what is that? What is that? That's like a mountain... It's almost like that lava volcano. See, we could have went down in that lava volcano and got a bunch of diamonds and stuff. Dude, what? I've never seen I never seen a place like that. 
um, a mountain. Like I said, it almost looks like the lava volcano in a way, except... Yeah, this village has been tattered. It's a very strange... Strange mountain. Is that a good potato? E even... None of this stuff replenishes your health. Uh, iron helmet, some bread. What is that? Waiting boots. Waiting boots. Waiting for what? <laughs> Do I really need a penguin face? Maybe. Who doesn't need a peng? Oops. Who doesn't need a penguin face? All right, let's put uh, some of this stuff away. Penguin face. The books. Um, this... We're gonna keep this stuff out. Alright, we should be good there. Um... I think that maybe it's designed for you to eat... Here's what I made. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I made a juicer. I made a cutting board. And I made a saucepan. What I was trying to make is, like, jelly. To make, like, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I forget what else I needed, though. I think, uh... Did I do, um, sandwich? So see these sandwiches here? N nourishing meal, like, um, here, cram cranberry jelly. So, see, you need bread. You need, uh, berries, this. You need the juicer and the saucepan. So I got those two. So you need cranberries, sugar to make that. And then... Peanut butter, you need peanuts and the juicer. That's why I've got those things. And then you need the cutting board, obviously, to... Uh... So i got to keep my eye out for, like, peanuts and um, those other morsels. Because with those, I can make... What are these things? Maybe some of these things are... See, it doesn't say what they are, though. They're Pam's Harvest things, but it just says crop name. That, see, that's where I may have a problem with the food. What, uh... Some of those things look like they might be good ores. Uh, we better sleep. Sleep it out! What's the time? Is it 619? We're almost there. These are pretty crazy looking. I don't know, they're... What the? It's nighttime. I must have clicked with like one second left. Very interesting. So you guys know I was talking about doing that uh, that series of like the zombie apocalypse guns, you know that, and I'm gonna do it for sure. I'm gonna do it. Um, I was gonna set up a a video like to start it off and kind of just you know, do an overview of like, hey, this is what we're looking at. This is what we're going to cover. You know, if you guys are interested, make sure you check this out. Blah, blah, blah. Show some of the... There's another one of those mountain things out there. Show some of the the weapons during that one. And, um, and then, like, each one I was going to do... I think I talked about it a little bit. You know, I, I think I'm probably going to cover, you know, somewhere between maybe 15 and 20 weapons. I don't know if I'm going to cover like a bunch of handguns. I might do a few of them in, in the same episode. And same thing with like, you know, I've got th three weapons that are kind of the same. This is such a strange area. Let's go into the middle of this to see what this looks like. I mean, is this, could this be a candidate for building here? I, I don't know with the ah, poison ivy. Okay, yeah, I got it. I got the poison ivy, man. All right. So, oh, ah, I could have done without that. What is that red? See, that's what I saw up top. I saw some of this red stuff, which looked really good. Wow. Atomite. Is this actually going to break it or? No. Okay, so you diamond picky, no work. Watch, that's probably like one of the, what if that's like the rarest thing in the game? So some of these, some of these bushes, I bet actually, see rhubarb, rhubarb probably is there a rhubarb sandwich, apple, jelly, watermelon, strawberry, 
starfruit, raspberry, pomegranate, apple, blackberry, blue, cranberry, kiwi, lemon, lime, mango, orange, papaya, peach. No rhubarb. <laughs> Why no rhubarb? Uh, it's just gonna take me some a little bit of time to get um, to get set up and going. Uh, you know, do I need these things? You guys said to right click on this. Are there? Oh, they're not. They're not fully uh, ready. So that's what I need is to find some of those at those trees. That's what I need to find. But look at this area, you guys. It, you know, it's cool and unique looking, but I think it, I don't. I don't think it's like material to actually make make a home. What is all that? Bunch of stuff over. Is that back? That's probably up on top there. That is going to be way too hard to get to. All right, now. Now I'm confused where I'm at. These all these mount. I want to swing around this one here. I think. Yeah, we'll swing around. Get get over to that area. Cause we're we're on our own now. We've we've basically taken off from from that house. We kept going back to it. It's like that's the thing. If you keep if you keep going back to a place, you'll you'll never get away from it. <laughs> it you know it's comfortable. Even though even though I I've slept you know a lot of other places break in the bed that wasn't actually the, our spawn anymore hmm sometimes the biomes are plenty you know it's like it takes a lot longer to find a really cool place but that's okay that's all right mm -mm -mm. oh man <clears throat> Man, the weather's been good this summer. I don't think it's been too hot at all. It's been a little hu more humid than normal here in uh, Southern California. But um, it's it's not been... Like for here, 90 degrees in the 90s is is kind of normal for, for summertime. And because it's not usually humid, it's, it's fine. I really actually enjoy the warm weather like that. And we're just like when we get a little bit humid here, even like 80 degrees feels miserable because you're not you're just not used to it. You're just not used to it. Did I hit poison ivy again? Or was that a poison ent tree? Am I standing in poison ivy? Whatever this thing is in my hand I don't like. Um I guess no no rhubarb. Rhubarb may be in something else, but I'm actually I'm I really I really don't like the whole food thing. See, here's the thing about games in general. In and this kind of applies to any game. You have to strike a balance, right? Balance and I, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. My opinion, remember. My opinion doesn't mean it's right or wrong or fact or fiction. It's just my opinion. My opinion, and this will work for all games, balance is the key to a good game, to an enjoyable game. Balance, okay? <clears throat> it's like this. Let's put it into perspective of, an, of other games. Let's say you've got a shooter game, any shooter game, and you've got... A hundred guns in that game that you can use. But two of those guns are like uh, what people call overpowered. Or they're just like ridiculously strong that if you don't use that gun, you're the person you're going up against is going to be using that gun and you're going to you're gonna get outgunned. Froggy! So we got, look at that, we've got one of those. I think we should storm that place. Dude, that frog is really loud. What is this? Copper? That's a cool looking copper. That's copper from metallurgy vanilla. Alright. That guy doesn't aspid. I think we should I think we should set like um set a bed here and fight this place. What do you guys think? What was that? Um Alright, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some wood. Dead wood. Willow wood. We get some willow wood. 
me get some wood to build a little, maybe build a structure. I don't know if we have to actually build a structure. Venus flytrap. Whoa, those are dangerous. 